let's learn how to download and set up MATLAB in 2020 easily. So first, let's get out our materials. What we're going to need is our computer that we plan on setting up MATLAB, our MathWorks account, and finally, this video tutorial. To get to your MathWorks account, simply go to the MathWorks site and in the top right corner, you'll see this page right here. On this page, you can either sign in or create a MathWorks account. After doing so, you can head back over to the MathWorks site where you'll see this page about MATLAB in the product section. There will be three main options. You can try MATLAB from a free 30-day trial, get the campus version of the software of your a school, university, or organization, and finally, buying it from a license. Once you have this set up and the license linked to your account, we are now ready to go to the other side of things. Let's head in to our computer where we'll finish and download MATLAB. Before we enter, I'd like to advise you to not forward any part of this video in case something gets confusing. MathWorks is the company that develops MATLAB along with Simulink and a variety of other softwares. Once you go to MathWorks.com, you can navigate to their products and MATLAB section. Once you're over here at this website, you're going to want to go to the top right corner where it says Get MATLAB. This website can actually be confusing to navigate since there's so many options and so many features. Let's click on Get MATLAB. Now, you'll be given a lot of options again, and you might be confused what to click on. But over here, you can head to the Download button. Once you get your license, either via the free 30-day trial or through your, your university or school, or potentially if you bought it, you can head to this blue download button. Select this. Now you'll be given the option to download the latest release of MATLAB. For me, this is R2020A. Select download. Now you'll be given the option whether you want to download the Windows, Mac, or Linux installer. Here, I'm going to select Windows since I have a Windows PC. Let us know in the comments below what type of operating system you have. We want to hear from you. Now you're going to want to download this software application. Select Save. It'll take some time to download, so we're going to skip ahead and we'll see you just in a few seconds. Now that the exe file is downloaded, you may think that the rest is pretty straightforward. However, you're going to want to continue watching this so you can understand step by step what to do in order to install the software. Select this to open it up. You can also right click and select open. The software may require you to authenticate as an administrator of the computer. If it does ask you, just go ahead and allow that. Now it's going to ask you um, if you want to use WinZip. WinZip is essentially a self-extractor. It's similar to things like WinRAR or 7-Zip. It's going to extract all of the necessary files and materials in the exe file. Don't worry about what it's doing and just let it run. It'll take some time, so just wait for a few seconds. We're again going to skip ahead so you can see what to do next. Pause the video as needed. Once WinZip finishes unzipping the files, you'll be requested for administrator access. It will then pop up just like this. Your MATLAB software version should show up in this bottom right corner. If it doesn't look correct, then make sure that you downloaded the right version of MATLAB. Depending on the performance of your computer, it may take a few seconds to launch up the MathWorks product installer. Once the MathWorks product installer is up, you'll be given some straightforward directions on how to install MATLAB the rest of the way. After loading a bit, you should come across this screen. You'll be asked to sign in to your MathWorks account using your email address and password. There is also an advanced options. If you do have a file installation key, then you can do that through here. But in our scenario and the items I've demonstrated, that's not what we're going to do. So 
As usual, we'll just sign into our MathWorks account, which has the license key attached to it. After signing in, all you have to do is agree to the terms of service and license agreement. If you need to go through this, feel free and select next. Now you're going to want to select the license. You may need to enter an activation key if you bought the license separately. Confirm everything such as the username, email and name and select next. Then you're going to want to specify the destination folder to download. Make sure you download into the program files. This is a personal tip as if you don't, things can get a little bit messed up organization wise later in your journey. Select next again. And we'll then move on to the product section of the MathWorks installer. In the product section, select all the products that you want to install for MATLAB. If you need Simulink, feel free to select that. I'm going to walk through and give a brief description of some of the toolboxes that may come in handy. Computer Vision Toolbox is very important. It's used in a variety of artificial intelligence tasks and it's extremely useful. I'm also going to get the Data Acquisition Toolbox as that's pretty useful as well. Deep Learning Toolbox will definitely come in handy with a lot of AI experiments. Same with image acquisition and image processing, as well as the MATLAB Coder. The MATLAB Coder allows you to actually work with App Designer and um, compile your apps later, as well as just do a variety of different programming tasks. So I'd highly suggest downloading these. I need the MATLAB Compiler in case I need to make any personal apps. Parallel Computing is also useful if you need those types of resources or if you're working on one of those TPUs or uh, virtual GPUs. Apart from that, the rest seem to be various simulating toolboxes. And remember, you can always download any products that you didn't actually initially select by going into it later. I'll be showing you how to do that in a bit. Select Next. After this, you'll be given two options, whether you want to add the shortcut to map to the desktop, I'm going to select yes and go to next. And then finally, begin the installation. Now this will take some time. I'm going to fast forward and you can pause the video and join us just in a second. If you're still watching the video to this point, I'd like to encourage you to subscribe to this channel for daily MATLAB and artificial intelligence content that you are sure to enjoy. Thanks so much. After about an hour or so, MATLAB finished installing on our computer. We'll see down here in the corner that the MATLAB shortcut has been added. You can simply double click this to launch up the application. After this point, it may take a few minutes to launch up MATLAB since you're opening it up for the first time. The MATLAB logo should pop up and your version should be opening. If there's any questions you have or concerns, leave it down in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. But before you click off, we need to go into the next part of this setup. After we download MATLAB, we actually have to set it up and get everything running. In order to see that, simply click on the video on the left of your screen right now so you can actually learn how to set up MATLAB with the variety of various add-ons, toolboxes, and more. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and make sure to see our setup tutorial after this so you know exactly how to use MATLAB easily. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please leave a subscribe down below. It really helps us a lot and you can get notified whenever we post an AI or programming video. Thank you.